is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. When my guest plays the keyboard, supernatural things happen. The atmosphere is changed supernaturally. I, I know this will be hard for you to believe, but amazing signs happen. Miracles happen. Are you ready for your breakthrough? Yeah. Now, I, I have to tell you, when I find out about uh, Steve Swanson's background, it, it really, there's something in me that I uh, just, it's so wonderful. You, you see, uh, it, it, the music came natural to him. His, his mother was a worship leader. His father was a pastor. And he, he came to know the Lord at age six, filled with the Holy Spirit at age six. Age eight, he starts as a little kid leading worship, but that's not the thing that excites me. The thing that excites me, Steve, is you had such a heart for God at such a young age, you would lock yourself in the church to just worship God. Tell me about that. Absolutely. Well, the, the church was actually attached to our house. So you got two steps and you're in the church. <laughs> and, and so I would lock myself in there and just play the piano. I started playing when I was six years old, and I just play and worship the Lord in the, in the church, which was our house. But, and, and, and having the, that tender heart at such a young age, uh, it almost shocks me to be candid with you uh, that the lure of fame and money uh, when you got into high school kind of drew you away from spiritual things. Yeah, he even did some, uh, some work in a studio. He was making $1,000 a minute. That's right. And so you're on a train and a total stranger, you're in the, the car where they serve a meal and a total stranger sits at the table, doesn't order any food. Very strange. But then she looks at you and what happens? We're sitting in that dining car. She sits down. She had this flowing blonde hair and she looks at me and she points her finger at me. And she's across the table. She goes, you're running from God. You have a call in your life. You stop running from God. She didn't have any food. And then as soon as she said that, she got up and left out the back of the train. Never and saw her again. It does talk in the Bible of what shall he entertain. It may be an angel. Do you think that was an angel? <laughs> it was came at the right time. That was an angel. That was an angel sent to me by God to tell me, to remind me that God had the call on my life. And then shortly thereafter, he, just a coincidence, he's invited uh, to play keyboards and worship uh, at, at, at a, uh, a, a church meeting. Uh, and they decide to pick on you. What happened? <laughs> yeah, they cornered me. It was a setup. It was a setup. They had me come in and play orchestra parts, uh, swing parts and things like that. And they had a gospel choir. And a gospel choir does something to my spirit that just, I can't, I, agree. I can't contain myself. So after the meeting, while I'm in tears, after hearing the music, the music is touching me, they saw that and they go, this is our chance. So they like corner me rush. and they, <laughs> they got yes. laid hands on me and they prayed like for a, a refilling of the spirit. And I was on my knees like weeping before God. Mind. And that was a transforming moment. In what, what were you feeling when they were doing that after all those years of being so cold? for the things that God. It, it felt warm again. It felt life again. It felt light. I could feel that light, that same light that I would go in and in the, in the 
church there and worship as a little kid, I could feel that returning. And like I was on my knees and they kept saying, yes. like a mighty rushing yes. wind, like a mighty rushing wind. And it was a mighty rushing wind. Okay, then you go to a, uh, a, a, a music uh, conference, Kent Henry, is there, and then you went to another meeting where it happened to be your home church where he was there, and what happened? Well, I'm at that conference, and I'm watching Kent sit at the piano, and I really thought I was dying because <laughs> I saw my head on his body. I'm having an, you know, an out-of-body experience, and I'm feeling this warmth again, these, this like golden threads were encircling me. It was, it was God showing me you know, what was to be. And coincidentally, he came to the church we were at after that, and he started prophesying about songs and about the sounds uh, over me just a few weeks later after that. Now, you are a world-class worship leader. I have to tell you, I listen to your music. I love your music. Thank you. Uh, it, it, it literally brings me joy. But you said to me, shocking, he says, Sid, you are called to be a psalmist. Everyone is called to be a psalmist. It's not just the paid professional. What do you mean by that? We're all called to, to release the power and the presence of God. We are all called as, as worshipers. You, it, you don't have to have a worship leader to do worship. You are a worshiper. You were created to worship God. That is part of your DNA as creator to creation. I mean, it's... He's so beautiful. He's so wonderful. You can't help but uh, worship. You had an insight that all of nature is worshiping God in harmony with heaven. Explain that. I was recording a track and the Lord told me to put the sound of a cricket on this track. So I went, to, uh, I went online and found the sound of a cricket and I put it in my computer and that allowed me to slow it down, speed it up. So he goes, I put the cricket in. I'm having fun. I'm playing cricket chords on my keyboard. <laughs> I haven't heard that before. I'm having fun with that. So he says, slow it down. So I play it again. It sounds like birds. You know, and then he could take it down. It sounds like owls. And then you take it down even further. It sounds like the, the sound of the whales. The and he says, you see, all of creation is singing the same song. They're just singing in different octaves. And I, this, this whole I, hallelujah, it, this whole thing is going on around us all the time. I, I understand you even pray for people to hear the sounds of heaven. Absolutely. I, I told that to a gentleman and he, I prayed for him. <laughs> I prayed for him and he's sitting there and he goes, I don't hear it. <laughs> and so, so I go, well, I don't know. He, he went home and he calls me back in about 30 minutes. And he calls, he goes, I can, I can hear, hear it. it. I can hear it. I go, hear what? Sound I can hear creation. the sound of creation. Now, how do you turn it off? <laughs> I said, I, now, you say that when we worship, it's God inviting us to divine encounters. Absolutely. Absolutely. God wants to meet with us. We always think that we're coming to meet with God, but hey, he, he's coming to meet with us. And there's this divine exchange that happens in worship where the more you give glory to the king of glory, the, the more it's this exchange that happens. And there's this invitation from God to come up to a higher place and just to, he wants to show us things. He wants to show us his Well, that's, that's like the dream you had. Tell me the dream. Yeah, <laughs> this dream is, I, I dreamed I was at a James Brown concert. <laughs> And I'm sitting in the front row, and he's up there going, get on up, get on up, right? And, and I go up on the platform, and I say, stop. They go, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right? I said, it's not get on up, it's come on up. You know, like, come on up here. I want to show you some things. And when I said that, this scroll rolled down, and the verses for this song were unfurled right before me. And I wrote them down as soon as I woke up. The door standing open, one seated on the throne surrounded by a rainbow. It's just unrolled right over the whole. The okay, I release you now to sing that song, and I'm telling you something. You're about ready to come on up. <laughs>
gonna show you some things Come on up Come on up Come on up I wanna show you some things A door standing open One seated on the throne Surrounded by a rainbow Like a gleaming precious stone Creatures are crying Holy, holy is the Lord I was in the spirit on the Lord's day But suddenly I heard a voice behind me say Come on up, come on up, come on up I want to show you some things Come on up, come on up, come on up I want to show you some things That's mingled with fire The sound of crashing thunder And the river of life We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Steve Swanson carries a powerful psalmist anointing that creates an atmosphere of breakthrough through his music, creating a place where miracles, signs and wonders spontaneously happen. Call now and get Steve Swanson's Divine Encounters Package, which includes his powerful book, Heaven's Symphony, plus his three audio CD worship series, Supernatural Breakthrough, Heavenly Treasures, and New Creation. That's a total of 27 worship songs. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9327. Through reading Steve Swanson's powerful and anointed book, Heaven's Symphony, you will understand how to worship in a way that releases miracles, signs, and wonders. Start seeing the supernatural activity of heaven released through your worship. Experience intimacy with God in ways like you never dreamed possible. Receive a fresh vision of your God-given destiny and purpose. Unlock divine encounters 24-7 and walk in the supernatural every day. People who have listened to Steve's worship CDs have experienced angelic encounters, received physical and emotional healing, were released from despair, emptiness, depression, and even suicide. Sense the glory and presence of God in a more powerful way than ever before experienced heavenly dreams and visions. This is highly anointed worship music that you will listen to over and over again. Take up my bed and walk, for I am healed. Worship is mandatory. It's actually your way to enter the heavenly realm. Most believers think to be a worshiper, I have, I have to play music uh, like Steve Swanson. No, 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 no. To be a worshiper is your job description. It is the missing ingredient to the supernatural for your life. Don't miss out on getting Steve Swanson's Divine Encounters Package, which includes his powerful book, Heaven's Symphony, plus his three audio CD worship series, Supernatural Breakthrough, Heavenly Treasures, and New Creation. That's a total of 27 worship songs. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9327. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9327 or log on to sidroth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. You know, Steve Swanson's music, it just flat makes me happy. But you had something supernatural happen, and after this happened, it was like the supernatural opened in your music. Uh, you were at a house of prayer, few people. You were very tired. Yes. What happened? Actually, nobody was there except for me, another singer, and a prayer leader. And I, I would play for two hours devotional and then uh, two more hours of just praying and, and uh, singing. For three people? Yeah, for nobody. It no. was just us. There okay. was nobody in the, All right. in the congregation. All right. But I'm sitting there like this, and I'm like tired. and. I've got my head down. I'm resting my elbows on my knees, and I felt two arms coming underneath my armpits, and I heard a voice say, sit up, 
and worship me. And as soon as he said that, it's like all of a sudden I could hear female voices on my right hand. We, and we were singing worthy. We were just kind of doing this worthy. I could hear the female voices on my right hand, the male voices on my left hand. And they were following what I was playing. So I'm going worthy, worthy. And they're doing all that. And I couldn't tell if they were singing what I was playing or I was playing what they were singing. It was a simultaneous transcription of heaven. This realm opened wait, up. Well, wait, there's just a few of you. Where, where's this singing coming from? From heaven. From, <laughs> it's, it's the realm. It's there, there's something opened up in the spirit where God allowed me to hear a taste of what's going on in heaven. Mm. So since this point, uh, you've had some very amazing supernatural manifestations. He literally didn't play the piano and it starts playing by itself. What other things happen? Uh, well, there are people get healed. People have visions. People always come up to me and they, they here's a picture I drew of, of what I saw, what the Lord is showing me. But people have gotten healed in that. And you know, the more you start singing, about that, the more you begin to declare that and, and what's going on, that it gets bigger. What you're focusing on is being empowered by your words. The glory is released. What are some of the things that happen when the glory is released? Oh. <laughs> you mean like now? I, I think I asked the right question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, the, the glory is a realm of, of the ease of the spirit. It's a wave that we all get into this place where God is manifested in, in his beauty and in his, in his power and his majesty. That is the glory of God. God is the glory and the glory is God. And when he reveals himself, people get healed. People get delivered. People get set free from bondages. It's the glory that creates that atmosphere where everything can change for us as we begin to just worship him and there, that exchange comes from heaven. You told me in the glory, you don't lay hands on people. You don't pray for people. They just get healed. Uh, you were just telling me about someone that was legally blind. Yeah, there was a gentleman. Uh, we, were, I had, uh, we, were sit, we were going for healing. I had a word of knowledge for arthritis and actually somebody got healed from arthritis during the worship. But this gentleman in particular was on the floor and without anybody laying hands on him, he'd been in a car wreck where his actual uh, eye socket got crushed and was legally blind in his left eye. And he, he could feel the warmth and the presence during, during the worship. And he took off his glasses and he said he, could, he covered his eye and he could see the fibers in the carpet from, from where he was laying down. And he could feel the presence of God. Another lady had metal in her wrist. And we were singing high praise and she came up and testified before the whole congregation. She goes, I had metal in my wrist. I couldn't move it. But now look, and the place went crazy because God's doing it. It's God gets all the glory. It's not touched by man's hand. It's all God. I'm going to release you now to play songs of deliverance. And I'm going to tell you something. The glory is going to come upon you. Yeah. And I, I already know this. People with arthritis in their fingers, as he plays, the arthritis is going to just dissipate in your knees. Uh, any pain in your body, it's going to just vanish. Ready for your deliverance? Songs of deliverance. song of my king I hear your song sung over me with delight in your eyes your heart is set on loving me and your joy is in my life and your joy is in my faith And your joy is in my worship And your joy 
is in my praise. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. If you love watching our It's Supernatural TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal, normal as defined by the Bible. Just log on to SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. We now return to It's Supernatural. Randy Clark, who has been a guest here, has a ministry to impart. He has imparted anointings over some of the strongest ministries traveling the globe. He prayed for an impartation for you. What happened, Steve? <laughs> I was in the back row because I saw everybody falling and shaking, so I'm trying to hide back there. And he goes, I'm not going to touch anybody. I go, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> but, but he says, worship leader from, from Florida, God's going to open up a realm for you like you've never heard before. What you've heard in the past is nothing in comparison to what he wants to give to you today. I bless it, what Jesus is doing, what the Father is doing right now in the name of Jesus. And when he, when he said that, immediately, I had my hands up like this, and I heard this sound like a fax. And all of a sudden, from the side came these notes, like on a piano scroll, and they're going by me like this. And I start following the notes with my head. And they, they said I did this for 45 minutes. I'm just, my head is like that. Nobody's around me. And then after, after a while, it just shut off. And I just fell you side. thought that they were strange. Imagine what they thought about you. I, I know they're going, I hope he's okay. And people from the church were there. I hope he's okay. And uh, 45 minutes of that, and my neck was sore the next day. But God was downloading, downloading exactly what he prophesied. The, the, what I'd heard in the past was nothing in comparison to what he was giving me that day. And ever since then, I've just been on this quest to release the sound of heaven, to, to line up with the, what's already going on in heaven and releasing that on the earth. That's the place of worship where we all come into agreement with what is going on. I, I have to tell you, your song, Changing the Atmosphere, it's my favorite of all of your songs because I believe it actually changes the atmosphere. Absolutely. Uh, you call it a song of breakthrough. What do you mean yes. by that? Absolutely. This, this song carries the breakthrough. There's a line in it and, it, and it's from a friend of mine. The line in it says, it's not about what you're going through, but it's where you're going to. Amen. So your breakthrough is right there. In your breakthrough, right now, changing the atmosphere. <laughs> To now by the Spirit of God within. Early time is running out, but eternity's running in. Pulling my future into now by the Spirit of God within. Early time is running out.
God taught Steve Swanson how to worship in concert with all of God's creation and enter into an encounter with God's glory and power. He carries a powerful psalmist anointing that creates an atmosphere of breakthrough through his music, creating a place where miracles, signs, and wonders spontaneously happen. Call now and get Steve Swanson's Divine Encounters Package, which includes his powerful book, Heaven's Symphony, plus his three audio CD worship series, Supernatural Breakthrough, Heavenly Treasures, and New Creation. That's a total of 27 worship songs. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9327. Through reading Steve Swanson's powerful and anointed book, Heaven's Symphony, you will develop a hunger for more of God in your life. Understand how to worship in a way that releases miracles, signs, and wonders. Start seeing the supernatural activity of heaven released through your worship. Experience intimacy with God in ways like you never dreamed possible. Receive a fresh vision of your God-given destiny and purpose. Unlock divine encounters 24-7 and walk in the supernatural every day. People have, have called me, have written me, emailed me. They've said, Steve, when I read this, I, I got it. I finally got it. I understand that there is this worship going on 24 seven that I can enter in now because, because the veil has been opened and that by just by reading this, I can, I can come into that realm too. People who have listened to Steve's worship CDs have experienced angelic encounters, received physical and emotional healing, were released from despair, emptiness, depression, and even suicide, sensed the glory and presence of God in a more powerful way than ever before, experienced heavenly dreams and visions. This is highly anointed worship music that you will listen to over and over again. Take up my bed and walk Take up my bed and walk For I am healed And when people listen to the CD, they, they get that breakthrough. They can hear the, the, the spirit of revival and that spirit of revival gets on them and all of a sudden they're carrying that breakthrough anointing. So everything that they are contending for breaks through for and them. Worship is mandatory. It's actually your way to enter the heavenly realm. Most believers think to be a worshiper, I have, I have to play music uh, like Steve Swanson. No, 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 no. To be a worshiper is your job description. It is the missing ingredient to the supernatural for your life. Don't miss out on getting Steve Swanson's Divine Encounters Package, which includes his powerful book, Heaven Symphony, plus his three audio CD worship series, Supernatural Breakthrough, Heavenly Treasures, and New Creation. That's a total of 27 worship songs. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9327. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9327 or log on to sidroth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. How would you like to make right decisions every time? My guest says it's simple. Would you like to learn? Yes. <laughs>